My order came in from Crutchfield. Excited to get this installed. Uh, Pioneer deck for CarPlay. Alpine speakers because quality. We'll see how those mount up. Um, hoping I should be able to align them up with the various mounts, but we'll see. Of course, face kit. Um, wiring harness. Plugs for the speakers. Tools to remove the stock unit. And then this thing here, uh, which I'm actually not planning to use, but it did come with it. So if I fail the Bose amp jump, I will use this, but I'm not planning on it. I really doubt, doubt I'll use this, but it came with it. Um, we'll see how it goes. Should be fun. I'm excited to have stereo that I can hear on the highway and having navigation and syncing with my iPhone. Should be great. We'll see. We've got the receiver harness attached to the adapter. Pretty easy. Match color to color. Um, same th some things were not used. This one is for rear speakers. I don't have rear speakers. Uh, green wire I will attach. That goes to the parking brake later. Um, this will go to ground in the car. Um, the green and the purple here that go to the rear speakers on this adapter. I taped them off. Um, blue wire goes to power antenna. I don't think I'm using that. I don't want my antenna up all the time because I never use radio, nor do I want to put a toggle switch anywhere. So pretty simple. Use these. Provided for a crush bill for a few bucks. Makes it easy. Add a little tape for extra security. Uh, easy to do at a comfort of a desk. And Next we'll be pulling out the deck and then pulling out the Bose harness and then working on that. Can't forget to do this. Remove the two pieces separately with the remover tools. This one came out super easy. This one I had to mess with a little bit, but keep pushing, pull to the outside and tug. Oh, come out. Okay, that's everything disconnected. First, I removed the harness to the tape deck. Then I moved the antenna. And then this one, since I had the least slack, which gave me more slack for the, the large harness here. Oh, and then this one, which I assume is the ground. I attached that one early. A little tough to get those clips out, but you get it. No big deal. Next step, we have to unplug the Bose harness. You can see it down there at the bottom left. See my finger wiggling around? I'm going to try to get it from that side first. See how it goes. Go ahead and remove this bar now. It needs to be gone, and this will give me more room to the amp. Yep. This random Hexol blade, it's plastics. Very soft. Done. Okay, I appear to have the harness jumped. Use this popular diagram offline, yada.net, wherever, just Google Yada bows jump, it'll come right up. So, have everything in the right spot. Ideally, I wish it was in there a little more solid, but I'll take my time uh, really taping it up so nothing can fall out, but we'll see. For the parking brake, this is the parking brake wire right here, so pull this out. Put a little slit, and then it's the blue wire C there. So I will splice into that, and then I'll have the parking brake cable plugged into it. Things are coming along, uh, making progress. As you can see, the stereo is installed. Um, got a little carried away, forgot to record. So here's a little bit of a recap. Um, first of all, the jumper, the first attempt when I hooked everything up, it worked, but it was um, not consistent. A little bit of shake would make the speaker go in and out. So I did it all over again. I used a shorter wire, um, um, and that seemed to work better. It took my time, got better at it the more I did it, and was able to 
push the wire in deep so it would be secure. And then with the shorter wire, it's easy me to easier for me to wrap everything super tight. Um, those wires are not coming out. Everything's good. Speakers sound amazing for being stock speakers. Um, but once that was done, I moved on to the center console. Needed to take that out. It's pretty easy. You got a screw on each side here. A couple screws inside. A screw under the ashtray or coin tray and then um, you also want to pop out the window controls the window switches just flip them out the screwdriver just comes out and you can unplug it um, also take off your shift knob once all that is released released unscrewed grab on both sides pull and it pops right out and then slide it around the release with that out I was able to run more wires and drill a hole in here um, i wanted my wire to, usb wire to come out here so it was hidden uh, drill the hole run the cable underneath um, also at the same time i made a clip but i tapped into the parking brake wire um, mine as well i'm not sure what functions i will ever use that will do that but hey it's done i was in there um, i also ran a microphone to here seems out of the way um, for the most part it is a little bit out of the way when I turn the key but how often do I turn the key uh, but I can always move that if I want to um, the trim um, it's pretty easy just take your time with it um, once you have it on there you've got to really make sure all your wiring is out of the way once the wire is completely out of the way I really had to shove hard to get it to go in there but it clipped in looks pretty nice looks pretty smooth i'm really happy with it for aftermarket so um thought all went great next i'm gonna move on to the speakers and hopefully that goes 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 well so but sounds really good now um with the bose bypass and the stock speakers i i sort of think maybe I didn't need to order the speakers, but hey, I ordered them, I got them. Let's put them in. To remove the door cards, you gotta pull this out here. Screw here. Screw under this carpet. Screw in the door handle. And then you have these two here. Once those are all removed, you can grab by the bottom and pull it out. Okay, so adapter doesn't fit, but here's what I've done. Uh, this is my proudest work, but I think it's gonna work just fine. Bolted in what I could. The other tabs that hit the body of the door. Put some double stick, stick tape underneath them to keep from rattling, also help hold in place. Did there, did there, and then went with some heavy Gorilla Tape. This feels really solid. I mean, it is ultimately bolted in at least one place, but this does not feel like it's going to go anywhere. Um, I feel like the door grill will also keep things in place as well. All right, have that installed. Like I said, not the best way to do it for sure, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's pretty solid. One bolt is holding it. Two more would be better. Make sure to use the screws that came with the speaker to mount in there, but pretty solid. I think that's going to be fine, especially when this is over the top of it. Passenger side. That's pretty solid. These adapters for the door speakers are pretty handy, worth you know, just a few bucks that they cost. Wouldn't be too hard to tap into them or splice them and cut them, but this is just so easy. Here's the passenger side. All finished. Uh, give it a listen, sounds great. The clarity is much better, much more crisp, less distortion. Uh, however, it has lost some bass. Um, a few possible reasons are, one, it's smaller, to the Bose speaker was two ohms, so it was probably getting more 
a volume from less watts and I think the major thing is now that there's uh, air through here it's not a, a tight seal as the Bose speaker was it's probably less bass response due to the more air volume coming out but um, let's we'll see how it goes for a while this didn't cost me anything to do it this way and down the road if I want to get a better adapter or fill this I can it's literally five minutes to take the the door off so see how that goes for now but so far it sounds good all right everything's all done and working perfect I'm very happy with the results overall I would say it was time consuming but not really super hard um, learned a lot with the Bose jumper um, advice on that is just copy the diagram that part's easy um, if you can find a solid core gauge tire I mean wire that's around 19 that'd be ideal um, I use a regular wire um, the best way to do that is to strip it short so it's stiff and then really jam it down in there get it in there really good keep your wires short um, that way it makes them easier to wrap with tape later so everything's secure um, on my second attempt I did the wires short wrapped them with tape shook it moved it all around it stayed perfect now that it's jammed in there theoretically it shouldn't move much but I feel very confident in that um, rest of the stereo pretty easy install wire integrams are all there Crutchfield provides all that it's it's easy um, speakers they sound really good um, like I said they do not have the bass that the Bose did those <laughs> were pretty impressive I was surprised with this head unit um, but I think that's probably mostly due to um, you know the air can pass through there it's not a sealed system as it was before so I'll think about that for a bit, a bit and address that later but for now they sound great much clearer the vocals are much better just overall better just a little less thump but that's not a big deal I'm not, not a huge thing for me but it sounds great um, the overall stereo looks awesome um, I really liked keeping the car you know as it was with the stock head unit but in reality in real life it sucked text messages you get while you're driving navigation nowadays is amazing um, I barely even have any CDs and they sound like crap anyway um, you're on the highway and you couldn't even hear it um, this I'm sure is gonna be much better it already sounds so much better um, so nice having you know all this your Pandora um, your text messages just your general iMusic your maps awesome the other thing look cool but this is this is just so much better I'll make driving so much better so if you're thinking about it, do it absolutely do it um, you know expect to take your time with it um, it's not too bad and it sounds it sounds really good I love how it has separate volume for guidance and stereo volume which my other units do not and it's kind of annoying um, but this this sounds really good of course it's I put something on there's no no music but anyways sounds good I'm stoked on it um, if I make any changes in the future I'll post below but have a good one and thank you very much <laughs>